Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Grand Prix World and another part of our career mode with Sauber. Today, we continue the 2004 season, season seven of the career mode, and things are going very, very well so far. We are currently uh, in third place, uh, sorry, in... Um, second place in the constructors championship and uh, second and third in the driver's standings we were one and two and one until the last race at monaco that went incredibly wrong uh, we had a double dnf in that last grand prix and considering you know we were so fast out there uh, and if you look at when our cars went out of the race you know we we were running pretty well um you know, Rubens Barrichello was actually leading the race when he retired from the Grand Prix. So, uh, a real shame. A real shame for us. And it'll be interesting to see uh, what effect that has on us going forward. But uh, we will try our best. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Um, and uh, luckily, over the last couple of Grand Prix, we have been making profits. So, uh, those fears of bankruptcy p perhaps have gone for now. Uh, we will see how it goes, though. But, um, yeah, leave a like if you are enjoyed. I know so many people have uh, rediscovered this game. And, uh, you know, this is the first time I I've played it and uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, I have seen on the remastered website that there will be a, a 2022 mod coming in the near future. So you can bet your bottom dollar that I will be doing the 2022 career mode when that comes out. Um, and, and that will be really, really fun. Uh, I think the next plan after this uh, will be to do the 2007 mod and sort of take it from the end of this career, if you like. And push it forward. Hopefully that'll be a really, really fun experience. So, um, yeah, you know, leave a like if you enjoy. Let me know down in the comment section what you think and, and all of that good stuff. But, um, yeah, let's uh, see. So we have agreed even better terms with these stats goods and uh, Goodyear and Mobile and Fed Express. Uh, we made good progress with BIC uh, and we have a deal with HSBC as well which is awesome so we actually only need one more space to fill up to fill our sponsorship uh, package for next season so olivia panis uh, won the grand prix also uh, led the grid from pole position we had a nightmare race it has to be said um anything else in there i don't think so did i get worst of the week oh no i didn't that's okay <laughs> Uh, we're not going to be appointing any more new staff for now. I am just going to keep it as it is. I don't want to cost the team too much. Um, Testing-wise, let's have a little look at uh, what we can do. Um, yeah, we don't need to be doing any uh, tyre or, or fuel testing. That's absolutely fine. We are going to reduce our... our uh, testing right down to try and just save money basically we're, go we're only going to do 80 miles of testing this weekend um because <clears throat> i think that will be enough ultimately um with that amount of mechanics on it but we'll see we'll see yep yeah, that was enough it was by by far enough so uh, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Right, uh, let's get our 2005 chassis onto the model um, model design phase. Very efficiently moving uh, next year's car. Uh, the next upgrade package also going at pace. Uh, Technology-wise, we are also absolutely smashing it. We are trying to basically keep on top of all of this and make sure that we have a pretty much maxed out car by the end of the season that's the the hope and uh, perhaps even the expectation let's get that upgraded let's see how much uh, spare parts are going to be this weekend mm, even more expensive so we're not gonna bother with that this weekend um we are gonna improve our engine a little bit more though um Yep, 
Yeah, pretty much a, a maxed out engine now. So we've got one more Grand Prix that we need to work on the engine. <clears throat> and then we can really start to uh, pull back on, on testing resources. So, yeah, let's pass on the, the research points now. There you go, straight away, three bars of progress there, one bar of progress there, three bars there. It's it's just all coming together rather beautifully. Um, yeah, we need to remember that we have got... Um, ...damage as well on one of the cars. Or both of the cars, actually. So pretty much all of our spare parts have gone. So uh, we will hold out for cheaper spare parts next next race um, and see if we can we can do that there. Uh, OK, right. Uh, let's move on to our commercial deals. Uh, we have got a deal in place with HSBC, so let's get that signed up. That's fine. Uh, that's looking good. That's looking good. That's already signed, and wow, we are already massively increasing our stuff with um, with East, which is, is really good to see. Uh, Cash-wise, yeah, 10% on that deal. Just going to double check. Yeah, we still do need one more, one more deal in place. So which one's the one to go for? So Petronas is a two-season deal, to be fair. So... Um, I'm going to actually take 5% off Bic. We're going to put it all on Petronas. I'm going to increase, put our TV advantage on it, and we're also going to invite them along to join us. I'm going to take HSBC off it and put Petronas on it, um, and they will hopefully enjoy our hospitality offerings. Okay, right. I think we are ready to go with the next Grand Prix. <clears throat> um, setup wise, yeah, I mean, definitely still need heat and wind, I think, uh, and overtake. And, uh, you know, I think speed wise, we're pretty good. I don't I don't think we need to worry about that too much. Um, let's get our new engines. Our fuel's maxed out already. That's maxed out. I, I don't think we need hard tyres particularly around here, but I might split the strategy and see which way goes better. I think that's important. Yeah, he's got the max tire feel now. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I think that's good. Okay, right. Let's head to the Grand Prix then and see how we get on in Canada. So, uh, for your qualifying session today, it is 18 degrees and overcast, a little bit cold. It has been a bit of a, a chillier season this year, but let's see how we get on in qualifying. Ooh, third and fourth, and Hakkinen actually coming out on top over Barrichello on those hard tyres, so definitely showing his turn of pace um, at this Grand Prix. Olivia Panis on pole position once again from uh, Esteban Tuero. Ferrari definitely a couple of tenths quicker than us in qualifying trim. Uh, Irvine and Sarazin round out the top six. Watt in seventh for Arrows. Schumacher eighth for Benetton and Magnussen ninth for uh, Arrows before Damon Hill in the McLaren in tenth. Still, uh, you know, a good second and a half off pole position and uh, definitely out of this year's uh, construct uh, world championship. Uh, Barrichello is going to be on the soft tyres, so he's going to two stop the joint, uh, whereas Mika Hakkinen will be able to one stop this race. So it'll be interesting to see who comes out on top. I think they're, they're very, very similar drivers, so we, we're going to manage to see exactly what they're both made of in this Grand Prix and which strategy is better. Unless they both retire, of course. But hopefully that's not going to happen. Here we go, into the race. And there is a podium coming. Is it going to be a victory? Yes, it is. It's a 1-2. And Mika Hakkinen wins the Grand Prix. 27 seconds ahead of Rubens Barrichello. I think that's your answer of which tyre is the better one to go for. Uh, Mika Hakkinen wins, of course. 
Barrichello second there, Tuero in third for Ferrari, uh, just behind Barrichello in the end, Irvine fourth for Williams and Panis in fifth for Ferrari, Schumacher rounding out the points for Benetton. Damon Hill still very much out of the uh, outside of the points. Panis still leading the way in the Drivers' Championship, six points ahead of Hakkinen, who is three points ahead of Rubens Barrichello. Uh, in the Constructors, we are still in a, a titanic battle with Ferrari, uh, just the three points between us as it stands. But that was an excellent one too. That is what we are talking about. That was brilliant. So, uh, Benetton have got the deal with Blondes. Uh, Hakkinen won the race. Panis had pole position, of course. Uh, Ferrari have got the works deal with Mercedes. Um, okay. Uh, Mario Harberfeld has signed a deal with McLaren. Interesting. The fastest lap was posted by Mika Hakkinen. Anything else in there? Uh, not particularly. Not particularly. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, we made a small loss at the last Grand Prix. Not too much to worry about. Of course, Canada is a flyaway race as well. We are ready to upgrade this year's car. Um, okay. Uh, ch -ch -ch engine sponsor. Uh, we have signed the agreement with HSBC. We've got a race advantage, which is very good. Uh, we've got a great deal with East now. Even better with Goodyear. Even better with Mobile. Uh, good progress with Petronas. Okay. Very good. Perfect. That's exactly what we want to see. Right. Uh, straight away into our technology center and see how we get on uh let's move the upgrade package to the next stage that's fine uh and already we are going to be in the wind tunnel with our 2005 car and this is uh really really efficient work from the lads and lasses very very good let's up that perfect 35 percent there Driving aids are looking fine. Okay. Well worth noting that we have not been caught for cheating at all yet. Touch wood. Um, right, let's get that testing performed. Uh, we can pass those research points on immediately. And uh, we should be able to finish off engine development right now with a bang 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 we have the maxed out engine so now we can fully stop um our testing of the engine and yeah things are things are going to be great we're going to have our 2004 chassis finished by britain uh next year's car is going to be sorted by um the next grand prix as well which is awesome awesome stuff right let's get ourselves fixed up for the next grand prix uh we are gonna have to bite the bullet and actually buy spare parts here which are a little bit cheaper than they would have been last time out um we are only just gonna buy enough to keep us going though don't see the need in in spending all that money when we've got such efficient mechanics and uh, engineers on the jobs. Yeah, everything looking good. Right, into the deals. Uh, how are we getting on with Petronas? Uh, looking very good, actually. Um, yeah, Bic's going okay as well. I actually use my success card on that try and get that deal signed up that works deals on yeah i mean we are we're absolutely smashing it i mean 34 million four hundred and fifty thousand we're well well ahead of uh last year's sponsor budget at the moment i believe what did we have last year so 
60 million next year, 56 million this year. So we are going to be well ahead of it, uh, and, and especially after the, the Petronas deal as well. That's going to be awesome. Okay. Um, should we have a little look at uh, our livery for this year? So there it is. There is our livery. Looking rather swanky, isn't it? Very, very nice. Um, and next year's car, how's that looking? Yeah, very similar, but uh, beautiful nonetheless. Okay, uh, we might be able to get into some licensing and stuff this year, which is really, really positive, because nearly halfway through we are, <clears throat> you know, nearly with a, a full coverage, or should be after the next Grand Prix. Uh, anyway, let's get into said next Grand Prix. Um, and with our upgraded engine, we may well even challenge for pole position this week. Let's find out. Uh, hard tyres are the way to go, apparently. So that is what we're going to do. Oh. Is that right? Ah, we want 9A. How have we... What? How have we managed to mess this up so much? So that's 9A, yeah. That's what we want. Yes. And we want the heart, yeah, the maxed out heart, yeah. Everything looks fine now, okay. Right, um, apologies about that. I mustn't have been using the, the, the best possible engine, which is uh, stupid of me. But uh, anyway, uh, light rain in the race, so that is going to, uh, or in qualifying at least, so that's going to help out Rubens Barrichello, you would think. So let's uh, see how we get on in qualifying. Second place, Michael Schumacher takes pole position for Benetton. Where on earth did that come from? Uh, but Barrichello does qualify in second, Panis third, Tuero fourth, with Hakkinen in sixth, Damon Hill. Although he's close, still only manages eighth, uh, which is crazy. Uh, anyone out the 107? Yeah, Nick Heidfeld for Stewart, Zonta for Jordan, and Rossett for Minardi. None of them are going to be able to race. It has dried up for the race. It's very, very hot as well. Uh, and, of course, we are going to be on the hard tyres. Hoping to go long, long ways into this Grand Prix. Rubens Barrichello will be hoping that he can control the race from second position Michael Schumacher shouldn't be too hard to overtake in his Benetton and then we can control the pace of the race from there um, we're going to go a lap later with Mika and hopefully he can be a little bit uh, quicker towards the end of the race, let's see how we get on there is going to be a podium in there is it going to be another 1-2 yes it is come on and Rubens Barrichello does control the Grand Prix and finishes nearly a minute ahead of Mika Hakkinen there in second who just edges out Olivia Panis in third uh, Tuero fourth for Ferrari Schumacher fifth for Benetton from pole position not a bad race for him and uh, Jason Watt in sixth Stefan Sarazin in seventh uh, Denise eighth and Damon Hill in ninth. Unbelievable uh, the fall from grace that McLaren have had this season. But uh, look at how close this championship is. Panis leading the way. Tuero not out of it either. Th only 13 points behind. But Barrichello and Hakkinen, they are well in this. Uh, Sauber now leading the way in the constructors as we head towards my Home Grand Prix, of course, in Great Britain. We did make a profit at the last Grand Prix. Uh, we're ready to upgrade this year's cars, which is good. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, engine sponsor has provided us with a new engine. Uh, TV advantage, perfect. We've got a great deal with FedEx. And we do have the deal in place with Petronas, which is good. And now we can uh, maybe start to focus on some licensing uh, stuff. But uh, there you go. Barrichello wins the race. Michael Schumacher uh, led the grid at the last Grand Prix. Mika Hakkinen finished second, but now looking for a win. Um, we are 
what's that say? Are heading for this year's constructors. Uh, Williams are going into partnership with Ford. The fastest lap of the race was by Panis, which is interesting. So Ferrari's race pace definitely looking good. Um, and it is going to be a titanic battle. We know that. We, we do know that now. Um, yeah, the upgrade for this year's car is going to be ready at the end of this Grand Prix, which is perfect, really exciting. Uh, and next year's car is ready for development, um, which is perfect. So we do have to work out when we want to buy those uh, cars but there you go 100 percent efficiency on that so we do have the potential because we've got a five-star engineer of having a hundred percent handling car next year now it's it's unlikely but we should at, at the very least start with a very very competitive uh, package going into next season um so yeah really excited for that uh I don't yet yeah, we've got our maxed out engine now so we don't need to to worry about that um we can quite simply um focus on setup and research now which is really really good so i'm actually going to put 35 percent on each of them and uh, reduce our mileage to 50 let's see if that that suffices i i honestly think it should do and if it doesn't hey it, it doesn't desperately matter but let's see will that be enough yes it will perfect so that's exactly what we want to see yeah lovely lovely jubbly Yep, nice. Okay. Uh, all of that is sorted out. Right, we do need uh, a few spares for this Grand Prix, and it is a bit cheaper, so... It works out. I mean, that's, that's the cheapest we've seen it for a while, so it's whether while we're here, we just buy ten of them. And okay, we're going to make a small loss on this Grand Prix, but we are going to need... What, 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 about two and a half million uh, to buy next season's cars? So we are going to have to be a little careful with that. Um, but I'm hoping with licensing we will gain some more money from that. Um, I am going to basically pull all of our commercial guys from the, the sort of uh smaller sponsor deals if you like so that's very nearly there um i'm actually going to use my tv advantage to get that guaranteed because we currently have 15 percent of the guys on that um those are fine uh, let's get this deal signed Gonna reduce that to 5%, so we've now got 15% to work with, which is nice. So let's go into this. Um, let's stick 5% on that and then 10% on that. And try and get that sorted out. Okay. And then uh, some people want road cars. <laughs> A Sauber road car. Unbelievable. Right. Uh, ch -ch -ch, I think that's everything we need to do before the next Grand Prix. So let's uh, get ourselves into it. Uh, overtaking wise, we are going to go for a little more speed here. A little bit more heat and uh, wind. There we go. Perfect. Right, the assembly, let's make sure that we have got the absolute maxed out engine that we can. Perfect. And then hard tyres, definitely the way forward at Great Britain. So let's get into the race. Uh, 19 degrees and dry for your qualifying session today. Let's see how we get on. Third and fifth. Well, that's a little bit disappointing, actually. Ferrari... 
uh, seem to have made a bit of a step forward and uh, Williams certainly back on pace with us but uh, Hakkinen I guess you know four tenths down on Barrichello must have made a mistake on his lap Panis and Tuero 1-2 once again for Ferrari uh, we're not going to panic at all uh, Saracen round out the top six for Williams Magnussen seventh Schumacher eighth Denis ninth and Jason Watt round out the top ten Damon Hill at his home Grand Prix still outside of the points uh 16 degrees and overcast for the race so it has cooled down quite significantly um one stop in the joint again barrichello starting to get into the groove and is out qualifying mika more often than not now so he's looking more likely to be the the one that goes for the the driver's championship um as it stands but uh, it, you know it could well change towards the end of the season certainly at the start of the year it was looking like Hakkinen was the, the stronger of the two drivers so there's no guarantees um, that it will work out the way you expect it to so let's see how we get on in this Grand Prix can we win the British Grand Prix for the first time we're certainly getting a podium can we do it well, we do win the race, and it's Rubens Barrichello. Uh, Mika Hakkinen retires from the Grand Prix. That is a, a bit of a disaster, but Barrichello dominates the Grand Prix. 12 seconds ahead of Olivia Panis in second. Um, Esteban Tuero finishes in third. Irvine fourth, Sarah's in fifth, and Magnus in sixth. And Damon Hill, you know, still a couple of places outside of the points. Um, but Mika Hakkinen had a part failure late on in the Grand Prix ah did we I'm not sure we fixed the cars did we ah I don't think we fixed the cars damn it oh that is so frustrating we still won the race oh but we didn't no what an idiot what an idiot that is gutting because his car got too worn. We're lucky. We're lucky that that wasn't a double DNF. But Barrichello held on to the car towards the end there. And he now leads the Drivers' Championship by one point. Uh, 11 ahead of his teammate Hakkinen. 87 points in the Constructors. I really hope that that doesn't cost us the Drivers' title. But uh, we will see. We will see going forward into the next episode. So if you have enjoyed that... Give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more Grand Prix World content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.